All right, guys, welcome back to another Cohen Duels video. We're going to try something goofy here today. I got three AIs. They're going to do a free for all on a random map. Let's watch. I'm going to put it to 200% because who the hell knows how long this game is going to go. Up here in the north, we have Narugamin starting off some settlers. Very good start. Over here, we have Yusi starting off with some footmen as the council. And down here, we have Kylisto, who is starting off with two full Kohan zombie companies. Interesting. He is going to fuck shit up from the get-go here. He has got Magus, who gives an impressive siege bonus twice, apparently, and rapid entrenching, and a modifier provides siege bonus. I do not know that hero. Uh, very cool. Range resistance. That's going to make the zombies even more range resistant. Are they... No, they're not. They're not like skeletons. And this other guy has got Melchior. The Dark Ranger. Alright, no one is moving out or doing anything too impressive yet. Everyone is just getting some stuff up. And we do have settlers finally coming here for Callisto. And he went for Mining Post, Iron Export Bank. He's going for the Econ build. So he is at plus 40 right now. We got an Econy build going up here um, for Narugamin as well. And he's starting to go out with the settlers now that they're full. And they're going to try to find a place to make a new home. Oh, Callisto is going down here with the zombies. He's going to go try to find some neutrals, try to find some lairs. Just do something with them. Explore the map. Why not? Yeah, we got a city coming up. Over here, nothing happening for UC. He has decided not to go for settlers. He is one basing. He said fuck settlers. And he is moving out with his footmen to try to fuck shit up. And both of our... Other players are getting their settlements here. I'm feeling better about their chances, but we're going to see what happens. Mining post, iron export, bank. Mining post, iron export, bank. And getting his first engineer, the full company of engineers too, which is great. He's got that stone outcropping very close. He's got another one pretty close. Let's see what else is going on in the map. Iron down there. These guys, there's stuff to find here. There's this Raksha nest. There's the Haroons, but... Uh, just not doing much with those zombies, but continuing the spread and continuing the econ. I am loving Callisto's play here. This is my man. This is my favorite right now. Going for econ, going for settlers, and just getting those zombies just to make sure he's okay. Now, moving up here, we got UC has moved out with his footmen and finally decided, eh, I got a city now. It's time to take, it's time to take some more. He is getting his settlers. He's got his upgraded city. Going for wood export, continuing the econ play. Absolutely love it. Oh, and Narugamin is getting his first infantry out. Now is the start of a real army and is continuing the spread. He's got that iron. He's getting another bank. Plus 63 for Narugamin, plus 64 for Callisto, and plus 43 for Yusei. Um, so Yusei is looking a little behind. I'm not sure I like the one base, the one base build here. I don't really know what he was thinking. Uh, but he's going for it. He's absolutely going for it. Ooh. And getting a temple up is Narugaman. Who does he have? He has Martyr. This is... Ooh, he gets a siege penalty. Interesting. So this is another uh, engineer hero. I'm really trying to focus on all the heroes this game. Um, Range resistant. Defense bonus is really nice. So let's see what he can do with Martin. He sees the independent city, not going to take it. Ooh, and we have our first our first little encounter here. Callisto is moving up. When we got down here, we just got some Slan moving around. We got Yusei just continuing his slow, slow push. He's finally getting engineers, though, and he's going to do something with those. He's going to keep moving around with those footmen. And Rugamin is going to take his third. And, ooh, already the third was taken and an upgraded second from Callisto. And he is continuing to macro up here. He's got those two zombies. He's not afraid of anything. When you have zombies, you don't need fear. Callisto, engineers moving around, doing some impressive stuff. No one's really uh, attacking anyone yet. Everyone's just kind of doing their thing. Uh, so Yusei is at plus 68. Narugamin is at plus 84. And Callisto is at plus 74. I'm still holding on to Callisto winning this game. That is my vote. But there's no telling what's going to happen. And continuing the macro game. Slan coming out here. But not doing anything yet. 
And we got more infantry coming up. Yeah, he's going hard. Is he? What happened to his other infantry party? Oh, excellent. They are going and taking a lair. I love it. This is the first aggression we are seeing from an Urugaman. And we have a full footman company, more footmen, and more engineers getting that sawmill because he needs to support his footman army. No co- oh yes, we do have a co handout. Solomon, he has blessing. He is going to be giving his guys such great DV and AV. Oh, I wish we got to see what that gave him, but no doubt he got something good out of that. Got some money. I think it's only on seeding gold right now. <laughs> and the epic battle between the Slon and the Settlers. Who will win? I think the Slon are winning. That did not work. Callisto, you've got to get out of there because you are not going to win that fight. These zombies going over here, continuing to poke around and explore the map. These zombies just came out of a bad fight. Oh, this is not going to go well. Get out of there, Callisto. Callisto is sitting at plus 80. He's making more engineers. And they love banks. I do too. I just, I love a good bank. It's my favorite building in this game. Narugaman, he has Adalon. That's just a, a very basic mage. Got a strong fireball. And, ooh, some Rakshas. Raksha, Raksha. They're just running around. Running around doing their thing. Plus 97. I'm really liking Naruga's play here. Uh, I have no idea how to pronounce his name, so I'm just going to keep pronouncing it differently every time I say it. Oh, and we got an encounter here. Narugaman is going after Callisto. And it is the infantry against the engineers. Trying to retreat there is Martin. His DV bonus definitely gave him an edge in that fight, but it was not going to work. He was not going to be able to take the military, so he is smartly just getting out of there. Going on over here, we got Narugaman also trying to take out these Raksha, and another forced retreat. Well, that party's not too powerful. It's just four infantry. But he's doing what he can. Ooh, he might get caught in a really bad place here. Settlers coming out for the flank, trying to kill Adalon. And are they going to? They're doing some damage, but they're just settlers, so they're probably not going to. Um, Callisto has got some more stuff coming over here. He's got his zombies join the battle. But Adalon is going to live to tell the tale. Plus 103, strong, strong macro econ play from our heroes Narugaman. And let's see what Yusei is doing over here. He's gotten up there. He's actually gotten up there very, very admirably. Um, supply posts, wow, love seeing that. Full upgrades on everything there. No tech, he just wants to macro. And continuing to get those engineers out. Continuing with a footman army. Ooh, and some bowmen out for Narugan. With the hero Galen Mordecai. Oh, I love chivalry. So flavorful. Range, range resistant, melee resistant. Um, so he is just a very, very basic infantry Kohan. I don't know what he does when he upgrades, but I hope to see. And forcing the retreat is Yusei. He has to get back. He is not able to take out. Oh, he went for the Indy. Interesting, but was not able to take it, especially with Narugam in here. This is going to be an interesting little confrontation. And down here, oh, minus 41. Oh, he is going for it. Oh, my lord. Callisto is going for the tech. He is awakening all his Kohan. He is making bone bows. He is ready to fuck some stuff up. Over here, we got Ashavir, Mystic Shield. He's just a dreadlord, and he protects himself. Very cool. And gives shatter resistance in case he runs into any of the sail. Going for this Gari, I like it, and I think he'll be able to take it here. Yeah, with the strong Bombo company and those engineers, he's got it. And over here, we got Hasanko. Shadow's Blessing gives that nice plus AV for minus DV, and it's perfect on Bone Bows. Dude, Callisto, you are my man. You are winning this game. I am calling it right now. Melchior, Hasanko, Ashavir, and Magus. Oh, and look at this little bounty. Stone outcropping and gold deposit. Oh, we got something going on up here. We got our blue bot guy, Narugamin, is also going and starting to take some indies. And he is trying to take the Guardian. He's going to take it, no problem. He's got Bowman. Now, I'm very interested to see what Yusei is up to. Has he started to get the DPS in his army yet? No, he has not. No, he has not. He's sitting there on his footmen. He presumably just keeps losing engineers because I keep seeing him rebuild more. Um, he's at a solid plus 109, but look, Narugamin plus 140. 
Callisto plus 88 because he doesn't give any fucks. He went for the tech. But now he is going to use that. He got the gold deposit, got the stone outcropping, and has a really threatening army here. I want to see him do something. And he's starting to move north. He's starting to move towards Nurugman. Nurugman getting his econ up further because he is a macro player. He doesn't care about tech. And over here, Nurugman is also going and taking this council city. He is not going to let it slip away from him. And I think he's going to be able to take it just fine. He's got footmen up in the front. They're going to do okay. And he has also revived Balthasar Aswan, mage. And got that and is taking this. Oh, God. Here it comes. Here it comes. Callisto is coming right in the nick of time to really punish Nurugaman for trying to take all his indies. And Bone Bows are going after them here. You say lost a company. Oh, so sad. And who do we got here? Mogor. Spell immunity is very good. Rapid entrenching and really nice call to high damage. Uh, he's a melee attacker with those bone bows, but he's going to get in battle. Okay, we have Callisto going over here and attacking Rugerman. Uh These bone bows are just doing so much damage, and he has the meat shield. He has got the zombie meat shield. I really like the army comp here. He just loaded up with zombies in the early game, he used them for exploration and just doing whatever he needed, and now he's loading up on bone bows. And he's at minus 16, but he doesn't care. Nerugerman definitely has the strongest econ here at plus 160, but he's got to start to make some good tech units or he's not going to win this. He's not going to be able to withstand this. We got one, two, three, four, five, six for Callisto. One, two, three, four, five, six for Nerugerman. They are neck and neck right now. I'm loving this battle. Okay, okay, Melchior is doing really solid damage here, but it's just a zombie company and two footmen, or footmen and infantry are going to be able to take him out. Hope he gets away, though. And Yusei over here, also a battle happening. Yusei has got his archers, Callisto has got his archers, two archer companies, though, and no front line. But he's able to just melt those footmen, and he's going to be able to melt these bowmen, too. Really splitting his army up here, but he has a very strong army. Nine's company right now. Most of them zombies. Two full engineer parties, which I love. I love engineers. And this is a significant push here. He's not going to be able to do anything, but he might be able to take some companies out. Over here, continuing the battle with Narugaman. I don't know if he's going to be able to do anything, per se. All these zombie companies are kind of crippled, but they're trying to get back up. Engineers are joining the battle. Um... Hasanko is forced to retreat. And there's going to be a retreat for Ashravir too. But coming in from the south is Magus. Slowly moving in, the zombies are. He wants to hold the city. He wants to hold it real bad. And what's going on down here? Oh my god. He has been teching up behind this the entire time. And with Vashti. Oh, I am afraid of him right now. Look at this, more Bone Bows and fucking Bone Bows with Prophet and Shadow Priest. Now, Nerugamid is moving in here. Uh, Callisto definitely spread himself pretty thin up here, taking the city. But he is determined to hold it. He really, really is. Nerugamid is moving in with just some melee units, some scouts and some infantry. Adalon, yeah, he's going to do a little bit of DPS, but he's not going to be able to take this. He's going to have to do a lot more than that. And we got more settlers coming out for Nerugamid. And more footmen, because he had it, so why not? Not even company capped yet. And out here, what do we have going on down here? Narugaman is continuing to go in here. But this company, oh my lord. You stand no chance. Those shadelings are going to be enough of a front line, I think, to DPS this company down. But maybe I'm underestimating the defense bonus from Martin. I think I was underestimating it, because look at these guys go. 19 defense. Oh, and the extra archer defense that I gave them in the most recent patch. Would you look at that? That made them beat the bone bows. Beat them pretty easily, but they're going to be able to get out of there. I think they're going to be okay. And Callisto is just involved in so many battles right now. What's this at? Oh, we'll keep it at 200. Up here, he is getting attacked from both sides. Yusei and Narugaman pincering the city he has got to give it up he doesn't need it he's got the bottom of the map although it's getting a bit scary getting a little bit scary here with narugamans moving out oh and the slon take his gold deposit he has really good tech though he has a lot of iron i would like to see him do something with that and he has a lot of mana up i'm feeling really really good about his chances get get an iron export there my friend 
and just keep pumping out more bombos. You know that's what you like to do the best. Now, Narugaman, the ultimate macro player at plus 172. Not doing much else, but that is fine because he's going to take control of this map. He's got a good chunk of it. And now let's go over here and see. Oh, the wizards are out. The wizards are out. Yusei is coming in with attack. Now, he has just been... Oh, bows and, and wizards and dragoons bringing out Ethan Del Boro, the ultimate... Uh, um, I don't know what he's the ultimate of. He's just a dude. But he's a foe of Calvary, so he'll fuck up those scouts. And another goon company with Saman. Also a foe of the cavalry. But here we go. This is what I've been waiting for. This is too big of a battle for you to get in. You say you need to wait for these guys to get up more. But your wizards are going to do good damage. You're going to just be able to cause some chaos here between Callisto and Arugaman. Um, Are you going to do anything significant? Nope. Are you going to cause some chaos? Absolutely. We got plus 70 for Callisto. We got plus 190 for Narugaman. And we got plus 89 for Yusei. Yusei also decided to go the tech route. Sacrifices Econ, but I like the play. He's just been sitting in the corner and nobody's been paying attention to him. He doesn't have a whole lot, but I still think he might be. He might have a good chance here. More bone bows coming in. I'm sorry, more archers. Bowmen. Whatever you want to call them. Callisto over here. Continuing to pump out bowmen, it looks like. And that's good. Got some money there. Much needed money. I hope he does something good with it. Continuing to pump out more bowmen. He is at plus 53. He's got to keep getting sawmills. Sawmills to support the bone bows. Because that is all he wants right now. Yes, he did it. He listened to me and got the iron export. Get that econ back up, brother. Okay, Narugaman is attacking here. And Yusei is attacking here. Now, is there any battle going on between these two? Not quite as of yet, but Callisto is still held on to this. Narugaman is finally going to take this city, I think. Um, I mean, Callisto really has had no damage holding on to it this long. But retreating, he doesn't feel good about it. He's leaving his engineers to it. Because he's got to deal with these zombies. He does not like this one company of zombies. He feels very threatened, and he is going to take them out. Adelon is going to do some damage. Is anyone upgraded yet? Everyone is still awakened, but there's a really good spread. Let's see you. Everyone's still awakened? I feel like if anyone might have a hero... Oh, Lord. Did you lose all your heroes? There we go. Vashti is enlightened. Ashavir is enlightened. Extra shadow resistance. Not terribly relevant right now, but... Look at them bone bows. Still holding on to the city. Oh my lord. Narugaman, you've got to go full force. Bring those bowmen into the battle. Get it. Take that city, and you will be so ahead in this game. Plus 157 is Narugaman. Macro master. Engineers with clerics. I love it. The tech is starting to come out. Oh yes. Footmen with summoners. Bowman with Summoner and Ranger continuing to spread his wings on this map. And down to a poultry plus 17 for our friend Kylisto. He has built so many bone bow companies. He is addicted to the bone bows. Somebody get this man some help. <laughs> There's more to life than bone bows, my friend. This isn't working out. You have to make some changes. Going up here and finding a random fort from Kylisto. I'm sorry, from Narugaman, and I think you might be able to take it. Was that fort in supply? I guess it might have been, but it might not have been. Oh, yes, took the city. Notan is finally in the hands of Narugaman, and he is now in a commanding, commanding position in this game, I think. A fucking citadel from Yusei. Oh, my lord. He does not believe in expanding. He is playing console as you're supposed to and just upgrading. That might have been a little bit excessive going for a Citadel before getting a couple more settlements, but I still like the play. Getting his first crossbows out here and getting some nice tech infantry. Now, I don't mind the ranger right here. There's a lot of forest and there's a lot of, uh, there's some snow. There's a lot of stuff that Trailblazing is really going to help him with. And then going for that wizard to get some extra DPS there. 
And you say, you say. He does, he does have this Saya. He took that, so he's spreading his wings a little bit more. Dragoons are moving around, starting to continue to forward his position with that outpost. And Narugaman is moving down in really full force. Now there's a lot of militia coming out and there's a powerful bowman company with Stadius. He is going to provide a lot of good damage against any of Callisto's army that comes in, but it doesn't matter because he's being attacked by Narugaman. He's being attacked by a fuck ton of bowmen of infantry. Look at all of them go. Narugaman takes both of them on, no problem, and is sitting at plus 220 gold. Oh, Thaddeus, do not run back in the battle. Don't be a hero. No. Oh, Narugaman is going to take Dead Men's Watch. No problem. Look at him. Look at it. He's spreading out from the middle. Now, mind you, Callisto has a powerful army. Callisto has a lot of land down here. You say starting to take some random bits of land around the map. Uh, he could go and do something sneaky and maybe go down here and take that iron. Um, he still has all of this he could expand to, but he doesn't believe in expanding. He says, fuck that. He's probably going to get another Citadel before he expands. <laughs> um, footmen with wizards, more crossbowmen. He is just getting the DPS there. This infantry is going to go in and try to attack this city, but especially with the wall coming out, he's not going to be able to take it. Over here, Yusei's company is just moving out. He doesn't know what he wants to do with these engineers, but he wants to do something. <sighs> Man, at plus 49, I'm starting to get scared for Callisto. He's got the bone bows, but he has no front line to speak of. Even all his zombies from the early game have just fallen by the wayside. And he's going to try to DPS, but it's just not going to work. Because you are facing the great Narugamin. He is going to get 242 gold in the time it takes you to get 69. His econ is literally about four times better than yours. Every minute, he is going to be getting another 250 gold. Do you know all he could do with that? I don't. I don't even want to think about it. It's too much for my brain to handle. Over here, putting a wall up around Nohan, because he knows that this is the focal point of this map. He knows that this is the center of attention and this is where everything is going to happen. And he needs to defend it with all his heart and all his blood and all his sweat and all his might. Uh, getting more uh, engineers up here. I'm a little disappointed to not see any random tech on them, but that's okay. I would love to see some tech in the settlers too. It would just make my day if somebody built settlers with wizards in the back. Uh, I guess that's for you, say. You can put some clerics in the back though, my friend. Getting some full scouts. Scouts are awesome as always. Double zealot. I love it. That's some good tech there. Getting, He's going to scare the fuck out of his opponents with those guys. And double summoners. He's going zealots and summoners as his tech of choice right now. And double cleric on this party. So he's mixing it up. He's doing real good. And moving in here. Oh, he's even getting bone bows. I absolutely love it. He just wants to add insult to injury to Callisto. And say, hey, you want to know how to use bone bows? It's like this. It's when you have a front line in front of them. It's when you have footmen and infantry and more footmen coming and double engineers. And he is moving in for Storm's End. I think this is Callisto's capital. And he has no chance. Oh, Ashavir goes down. Oh, who did the final blow? I bet you... Oh, I bet you it was Balthazar. I was really hoping it was going to be... Who's the other one? Adelon. Adelon is enlightened at this point, and so is Mogok. Look at this army. What are you to do about that? <sighs> Getting some Gari anvils. I like it. I like it. Because Callisto's got to do something creative here. He's got to make a party of Gari anvils move in before they're even complete and just hope to fuck with the opponent's brain so much. That didn't work, though. In fact, he just got surrounded and killed. Um, I wasn't seeing that one coming. I really thought his mind trick was going to work. Narugaman has 18 companies. He is almost at the limit here. Uh, as a nationalist, he got up 20 companies, 20 limit. He is at plus 328. He has so much motherfucking gold coming in. You say, what are you going to do to stop this? You're at plus 139. You have a good econ. You're getting more crossbowmen. You're getting grenadiers. Crossbowmen with channeler and cleric. I like it. Why not put them in the front line? Why not make that happen? More bowmen coming out. More infantry. Now, do you have enough of a front line? Are you going to make the same mistake Callisto made? I surely hope not, you say. 
I believe that you have been the underdog this whole game, but I believe that you can do it. What is our friend Callisto's position? He is backed into a corner. He has his Gari left. He can do some more mind games with that. He's got two company of bowmen that he's holding on to for dear life, and he has two company of engineers. It's not looking good for Wolfstan Hollow, but that's okay. Wolfstan Hollow, you can give it up, Callisto. You can give it up. It's okay. And the militia, and these guys are going to come in. They're going to take care of this Bombo company. He is not going to be insulted by his own race. But now coming in from the north, the almighty ranger summoner engineer company. Taking many lives. Man, I wish this game had a kill count. I would love to see how many kills each of these companies has gotten. Let's see if there's any really highly upgraded companies, why don't we? Oh yeah, he's got plenty of regulars. Highest XP is this uh, bow company with Mogok. They've been around for a while. Now, rapid entrenching, I don't know. I'm not super impressed by it. Um, I don't really know what it can do for you. Entrenching is something that is relevant, but I don't feel like it's that relevant. But what do I know? Narugaman moving in. He can attack at both sides. He's not even going to wait to take his opponents out one by one. He is going to take them out at the same time. Plus 380 economy. Engineers with cleric support. Bone bows and more engineers. These guys are going to start this battle. But the wizards in the back are doing a lot of damage. Crosswomen are doing an insane amount of damage. But Yusei also has no front line here. Moving in from the north, I love the flank. Infantry with double zealot is just going to throw fear into his opponent. They are going to want to get out of this battle very quickly. They don't have a choice. Oh no, Thora, Thora. You got away at 41 health. You will live to fight another day. That day may be tomorrow when you die, but you will live. Narugaman is continuing his onslaught. He has so many companies down here. Oh my lord. Plus 408. Every city he takes, he econs up. He's building a market there. He's building an iron export there. He has mining post, iron export, bank, the holy trinity. He does not ever want to be low in uh, uh, stone. Never. He will not accept that as a reality. Moving up here, Narugaman is moving right in. What an insult. He did that on purpose. He knows what he's doing. He moves right in with his bowman first and said, I'm going to do the most strategically unsound thing I can just to push it in your face that I have double your econ and uh, like triple, quadruple the map presence. Moving down here, Callisto is really not looking good. What do you have left? You still have the Gari. You're at plus 30. You have three Bombo companies. Cherish them. They will not last long. Another one. Cherish them. Whew, this is not looking good. I was rooting for Callisto. A random stone outcropping. The Rogaman is continuing his push over here. Some solid companies up. Ethan can do a lot. Ethan can stab. Bone bows. I'm sorry. Crossbowmen can fight. They know how to fight with their crossbow. They can just whack you over the head with it, and you'll still be afraid. Look at that guy go. He is doing so much damage, and he falls. Look at him. Dead. Falling on top of a dead horse. Blood on the ground. Blood has been spilled today, my friends. Gallons and gallons of blood. But no one is giving up. Everyone is fighting. I love it. He got another citadel. <laughs> you say he has three cities and he has had three cities the entire game. And you know what they are? Two citadels and a city. I should have meant, I should have said three settlements. Two citadels and a city. But Narugaman is coming in. He's got zombies in the front. He's got bombos in the back. He's got engineers. He's got those uh, elementals from his summoners. He's getting a little scared here. He actually doesn't think he can do it because this is a citadel with a fortified wall. How strong is that militia? I don't even know how many militia that is going to pump out. 18 militia with a DV bonus of plus two. They are going to be strong. And especially with all this backline here, it's going to be really hard to penetrate Yusei. What do you guys think? Is he up to plus 500 yet? Oh, he just made it just as I clicked there. Plus 500 econ for Narugaman. He just upgraded a city or something. Uh, he just spent like 300 gold. What is he doing? Does he have any upgrades going? 
he has multiple upgrades going. He doesn't give a shit about getting a Citadel. He really doesn't. He's playing Nationalist, right? You don't have to care. Stay at town level. Get everything up to a town. Get Econ. Get Tech. Get Units. Fuck the opponent up. Full company of Shadelings just to test out the waters. Look at these companies. Regulars. They've been around for a while. They've been around the block. Nothing beyond regulars yet. I really hope to see some upgraded units. Does he have any ascended yet? Awakened, I mean? Yes. No. Awakened, enlightened. Restored, ascended. That's what I was forgetting. Moving up here, I hear a crossbow fire. The crossbow is going to be doing a lot of damage, but they get something cast on them. Oh, that was the Zealot. That was the Wash of Pain for the Cloud of Fear. Definitely Wash of Pain. You see them all. Oh, but forcing the retreat. There is a lot of front line here for our friend Rugerman, who is at plus 533. Go macro. You know you can do it. You can multitask infinitely. You are a god. And the front line is crumbling here. He's not going to be able to take New Alin because he is splitting himself up. He does not settle for just one. Oh, look at that guy. He just got his fucking sideswiped. Falls onto the ground dead. The zombies don't even bleed. But they will die. And now just Bowman here. Zombies are forced to retreat. Zombies fall. Bone bows and Bowman trying to take out what you say has here. But will they be able to? I'm not quite sure. My lord, this game's been going on for a long time. Let's up the speed. You say, continuing to move in. And where is Callisto? Has Narukuma just forgotten about the southern, the southern front? Is he just letting Callisto live? I think so. Look at all of this army here. He's gotten Callisto into submission. He doesn't care about finishing the job. He doesn't care about twisting the knife. He wants Yusei's blood. Plus 168 against plus 578. You say you would just make my day if you just all of a sudden got some settlers at this point in the game. You've been really, really uh, happy about just staying on three settlements the entire game, but at this point you might finally go, eh, let's do it. Let's get some more settlements. But no, you're not going to do that. You are just going to get archers. You're going to get crossbowmen. You're going to get dragoons. You're going to get powerful companies, but are you going to be able to take on 19 companies from Narugamin with your seven? And Nurgaman did not let that stay at 19 for long. He immediately got back up to 20. He has scouts. He has bonebows coming. He has more bowmen. He has such a large army here. But they are forced to retreat. His footmen are constantly forced to retreat. And he is just left here with bone or with archers who are just going to die. They're going to die. You're not going to be able to take these cities like that. Nurgaman, you need to tech up some more. You need to do it. I don't want to see any more of these engineer companies. I've had it. More settlers, though? Fuck yeah. There's still uh, real estate left on this map. Go take it. You say, has a company from the south that nobody, nobody knew existed. And he randomly has this Haroon. I'm really interested in this battle a lot more than the other battle. Mm, not going good. Solomon is able to bless his footmen, but it is not enough. It is not enough. Don't let, don't let Solomon die. The battle is continuing up here. This is so much militia. He has fortified walls at both of his places. Does not have a garrison. I would like to see that. Up the speed again. 400%. Let's do this. Narugaman, do what you do best and win this game. Plus 643, plus 666. You're going to get to plus 1,000 before this game ends. Mark my words. Moving in. This is an absolutely horrible move. Moving in with archers first, with nothing to face the rather strong army of Yusei. Yusei is teching up well. He is getting channelers. He is getting dragoons. He is getting crossbowmen. He has a grenadier company with double channeler. That is so good. Yusei has such a better army than Nerugamin, but Nerugamin has the numbers. Nerugamin has the ability to continue to get his army back up minute after minute. Every time someone dies, he will immediately revive them because he has such a high econ. And is he going to push through? He is very slowly doing it. He's coming in from the south. Wraith and Shadow Demons. He's going to be able to do some damage here. He has a lot of Shadelings being summoned. 
but he also has a lot of guys retreating. Over here, Callisto is trying to take back what was lost with his bombos. It's not gonna work. Let's move to something more interesting. The battle rages on. The battle continues. Poor, poor, poor attack after poor attack. But Narugaman will not give up. Narugaman is not about uh, strategy. He's not about intelligence. He is about money. That's all he wants in this world is money. A forward outpost. I love it. This is going to give us a little something to do. Um, what else we got? What's got? What's going on? Let's make it even faster. 566% speed. Perhaps this game will finally end at some point. But I don't see it happening. Yusei just has such a strong defensive position. And there's no way he's ever going to be able to go and take... Oh my god, minus 56. He is at minus 56 iron. What the hell is he doing? He is building so many crossbowmen and so many dragoons and so many grenadiers, and he wants to get himself out of position, and he says, fuck the economy. I have never seen a negative number that high. No, or that low, I suppose. Never in my life. Nerugaman is continuing. He is continuing to move on. He is continuing to fight. And I am continuing to get bored of watching this game and continuing to raise the speed to hope that something happens. This position is looking like an unstoppable force against an immovable object. But what happens when we raise it to 1,131% of normal speed? We have something great going on here. We have Narugaman going and attacking. He's doing it. He's going after New Orleans. He might take it. It's going to take a lot to bring it down, but he has been able to whittle the army away. And Yusei's army cannot come up. He is doing it. Look at just how much health this has. Look at how long it is taking to kill this. 1600%. This is the fastest this game will let me make it. And I am going to cast this game till the bitter end. I am going to see Narugaman's victory. He's doing it. So many red numbers. So many components destroyed. So close. Destroy that wall. Get it. The wall is gone. The wall is done. He has so many units, and you say he just does not have anything to counter. He has to wait for everyone to get back up. He's continuing to try to get more channeler companies. And Narugaman takes New Orleans. Yusei is down to two cities of note. He does have this third city down here that we all forgot about. Callisto moving around, continuing to do fun stuff. I knew this game was going to be long. I didn't expect it to be this long. But I've already committed. Naruge. Naruge, you're gonna get to a thousand. You're gonna get to plus a thousand. I see it in your future. <clears throat> Keep moving in. Keep attacking. Oh, yes. The large army is coming. The massive army with no regards to strategy, no regards to flanking, no regards to intelligent unit composition, no regards to anything. It's just gonna move in here. Dragoons finally are out for Narugaman. Lots of archers. Lots of infantry, lots of units, companies, without any tech in the back. <laughs> lots of guys sitting around, but lots of blood being spilled. It's getting close. The crosswomen are coming up, but Narugaman is moving in. He may just do it. Everyone get back, everyone restore yourselves, and then everyone move right back in there. Over here, it looks like Callisto is gaining some ground back because Narugaman has not been able to pay attention to him. Callisto is slowly gaining ground back and is up to a really impressive plus 138 economy. Narugaman is at plus 910. It's going to happen. He's taking the second citadel. There's no stopping him now. Narugaman, you'll live with the gods after this game. You'll go down in infamy. I want to see that first component fall and the wall is down. Taken. You say. You say only has one. Major city left, which, in the meantime, he managed to get this one up to a citadel, too. But can it hold against Narugaman's incredibly army of scouts, shadelings, infantry, footmen, dragoons, zombies, bowmen, engineers, footmen with cleric support, shadelings with Mogok, who is awakened. Has anyone gotten beyond, gotten to the next point? Awakened, enlightened. Nope. But Sophia is enlightened. What does Sophia do? Oh, Sophia is Heaven's Grip. Very cool. I like her. Uh, 
and invigorate. Bloodlust. Very cool. This is it. You say Citadel is down. You say has that stone outcropping. I really hope it is found at some point. I hope the game does not go to three hours of Narugum and trying to find that. You say you have one city left. Javalon. The final Harun Sanctuary. Tension Narugum units, move out. You have done it. Do you have anything? No. You only take... Oh, you do have a National Citadel. Oh, very cool. You needed a home base. You need to get one there just to do it. Just to say you did it, you know? You don't really need it, but Narugum is going to have bragging rice after this. You guys think he's at 1,000? I do. 1,095 gold with his economy. Plus 46 mana. This is the best economy I've ever seen in a game. Dude, do not let Yusei take this city. Do not even begin to let Yusei get back in this game. I am trying to continue this cast, but I am absolutely losing my mind. Because this game is never going to end. <sighs> I wish I could put it faster. F4, 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 it's not working. Okay, the Rugamon is going to move in and finally take out Callisto. He's moving his army as a giant ball. I like it. I really, really hope that he takes Yusei pretty soon and does not let, yep, let Yusei continue to take more of his settlements. <sighs> He's going to go over here and take Callisto. He's taken the map. He's got so many guys. He has so many companies. My mind is blown. Yusei has 3 out of 4. Callisto has 7 out of 14. And Arugaman has 20 out of 20. He is going to max out on gold. He is maxed out on company. He has plus Nintendo 64. <laughs> cold height. He really, really needed to uh, to make sure that was in full health. That was going to be the downfall if it wasn't. He is moving in here with so many companies. He has no new tech to speak of, I don't believe. But look at this. These guys are veterans. You know what a veteran means? Plus 125. Or sorry, plus 25%. He has veteran parties. These guys have seen shit. They've seen death. They've seen their men die and come back to life. They have died themselves and come back to life. I guarantee you many of these veteran parties, every single one of these guys has died and come back. It's like how the human body, every cell you have is going to be dead in seven years, and you're going to have new cells. So really, seven years from now, not a single cell in you is going to be the same as it used to be. You're going to be a completely new human, but you're still going to call yourself the same thing. Isn't that interesting? Moving on is Narugaman. He's going to take... Is this the last city? No, this Gauri city, Doliche, that Callisto has been holding on the whole game. Remember when he tried to mindfuck everyone? He's doing it again. The mindfuck. He's going to move in with these anvils when there's only two or three of them and try to just throw the opponent off so much they don't know what to do. Come on, you're almost at it. Hiss rock. I thought that was console. Did he steal that? Maybe I'm wrong. I'm probably just fucking wrong. No, that's the other one. That's Yis, yis talk or something. Oh, I thought he had built some shadow beasts. That would have made me so happy. Bone bows with maelstrom engines. I love it. Almost forgot about this place, but he didn't. Look at this. Has almost the entire map. Three cities for Yusei. He's let Yusei get back into it just a little bit. But the giant blob is moving in. The giant blob is moving down around Lake um, Kathalawal. Uh, very popular vacation destination. Go to the gold deposits, watch some slaves work and hang out. It's great fun for the whole family. Deliche is under control of Narugamin. What does Callisto have left? Was that it? Did it not say that Callisto was out? Or does Callisto still have? Oh my god. Oh my god. This is literally happening. Callisto has Ashavir at 18 health. That's it. We're following this guy. I don't care about what's happening in the rest of the battles. He is a wanderer. Doomed to wander the... Why is there... Oh, he has a guard zone up. He's guarding himself hard. He is just... He's like, what do I do? What do I do? Can I make this attack? I don't think I can. I'm the last survivor. I'm going to have to learn to hunt. I'm going to have to learn to make a settlement for myself. But I'm not a settler. What do I do? Where's my army? How can I go on? Up here, Narugaman at plus... I was just thinking plus 1,000. He exceeded. He got to plus 1,500. And he's almost going to get to plus 100 mana. Red Keep and Athens Bridge. He got the upgrade up. Because we know Yusei absolutely fucking loves upgrading. He got the upgrade up. 
Callisto still holding on. Ashavir is pondering life. Ashavir is having a really, really hard time. Is he enlightened? No. But if he sits down under that tree and meditates, like the Buddha, he will become enlightened. All alone in the world? No! <laughs> Yusei has a single stone outcropping left. Are we going to watch this? We've come so far. Narugaman has been the victor. I came all this way to stumble on my words on the last fucking sentence just to say that Narugaman has won. You heard it here, folks. Narugaman is the winner. He's better than me. He's better than all of you. I hope you had as much fun as I did. This is another Kohan Duels video. I'm Zebatite Glitch, signing out.